Okay. We are going to learn how to play NES games on our PC. First thing you're going to want to do, there's many emulator sites and ROM sites available. So we're going to go to coolrom.com, C-O-O-L-R-O-M.com. It's a great place to get your emulators and uh, some digital ROM versions of your cartridge games. Uh, make sure you own the cartridge games. Here we go. Uh, we're going to do JNES. This is a good emulator. You're just going to hit the download button and save file. It's going to give you a downloader. It's going to try to it's going to try to make you install like four other programs. So we're going to walk through how not to get a bunch of malware on your computer while you're doing this. You're going to hit next. And then you're going to hit decline. Every time it gives you the option to hit decline, hit it. It's trying to offer you some other software. And then you're going to hit next and decline again. Now some emulators have to be installed on your computer. Some can just run. This one has to be installed. So JNES is going to install on your computer. Okay, now it's successfully downloaded. And we can leave the browser. And go ahead and install it. Good, good, good. And, uh, and that's it. Now it's installed. You see it made a little shortcut on your desktop. That is your Nintendo Entertainment System emulator. JNES is my, one, my favorite one for uh, Nintendo. Now we're going to create a folder for your ROMs. <clears throat> I already have one, so I need to make a different title for it. Um, I suggest you make a file somewhere on your computer for to store your ROMs. Uh, depending on how many systems you have, you can you can make folders within folders. For this one we're just going to do a temporary ROM folder. And then we're going to go back to coolrom.com and we're going to grab a Nintendo Entertainment System ROM. And this is totally legal because I actually own Super Mario 3 cartridge game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So this is just a digital backup. That's all it is. Since I already own the game. It would be illegal for you to download these games if you do not actually own the game. So you're going to follow the same exact thing you just did for the emulator. You're going to download the downloader and then you're going to run it. And it's going to try to give you, you know, three or four programs. So you'll hit next and then you'll hit decline, 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 hit next, decline again, and then open. And it'll allow you to open the folder that it's in. It's going to be a zipped folder. So I'm going to use 7-zip to open it up. Extract it right there. And then all you need is that .nes file. Drag that into your ROM folder. And the rest of those files are just trash. You can delete them. Alright, so now you're going to open <coughs> JNES. You're going to hit File and uh, open ROM and then you're gonna find your ROM folder that we just made which is temp ROM and there's our game click the game click OK and uh, there it is <coughs> Super Mario 3 on your desktop now you can hit options and then input and it'll allow you to map the keys to whatever button so we'll map these little keys here this is an example so you can see what we're doing. You just press the button on the side and then you press the key that you want associated with it. And once that is done, press OK and now you can play the game. You can also full screen this if you want, but uh, I think it looks a lot better on the regular size. And there it is. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, share comment, email me, 